Will I be able to see the frame? No, I won't. That's okay. Okay, I think I'm in frame here. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Lizzie's vlog. I'm trying out an introduction. I don't like it, feels insincere. But I am sincerely happy to see you all here today with me because, wow, I've just had quite the week, to be completely honest. One second, I feel like we can all hear my husband's work call, so I'm gonna go shut his office door. Shockingly, his door was mostly shut, so we're just gonna have to hear a little bit of that. A little bit of blah, blah, because he's a person who takes a lot of calls on speakerphone. And I totally get not wanting to hold the phone close to your head because of like radiation or something, but I also feel like, who's taking a bunch of calls on speakerphone? Um, let me know what that's about. He takes every call on speakerphone. Wild. Anyways, it is <sighs> spooky season, guys. In full swing spooky season. So today, we're gonna make a spooky treat. But last year, during Vlogoween, I kind of exhausted all of the internet spooky treats. So, and I didn't want to be redundant. Like I didn't want to make spooky eggs. I didn't want to make a pumpkin cheese ball. And I didn't want to make the mummy jalapeno poppers, but those things go so hard that I kind of might just make them off camera for myself and my family and any Halloween party I go to. That being said, we're pivoting and we're gonna make a spider taco. <laughs> which um, is what it sounds like. Or what's it actually called? Hold on, let me see here. Let me see here, what's it actually called? Oh, that's not it, that's not it. That's just the link to buy tickets to my Halloween show, <coughs> which you can find in the bio below. If you live in Los Angeles, I'm doing a Halloween bash. I directed a staged reading of Ed Wood's The Bride of the Monster. And it's gonna be a silly, goofy, good time. Um, October 22nd, get your tickets now. Link in description below. It's called a spider taco ring. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. I bought a whole can of olives just so this guy could have two eyes. We get to make a spider taco today. What? Hell yeah. Let's see what we're gonna need. Let's see what we're gonna need. Delish.com, ooh. Sorry about the sound. I have to do laundry, guys. I'm going to Colorado this weekend. Vegetable oil, yellow onion, chopped. Three cloves garlic, finely chopped. I'm using pre-cut because I'm a lazy spider bitch. Kosher salt, ground beef, canned black beans, raised, <laughs> rinsed and drained. Water, chili powder, ground cumin, dried oregano, shredded cheddar cheese, can, oh, three eight ounce cans of crescent rolls, two cups shredded lettuce, chopped tomatoes. Oh my an idiot. It says three quarter cups chopped tomatoes and I bought two tomatoes, which I didn't need. I just needed the one probably. Quarter cup sour cream, two black olives pitted. Okay, now I'm gonna get started. Well, let's see what delish.com has in store for me. Step one, okay, it's a total of holy sh It's an eight step process and knowing delish, I love your recipes, I hate your instructions. This is probably gonna be a 36 step process. In a large skillet over medium heat, Heat oil. I must confess, I still believe my loneliness is killing me. And I, I must confess, I still believe, still believe. Add onion. <sighs> well, I guess I have to chop this friggin' onion. You guys ever have days that just feel like you gotta chop an onion all day? So I'm, I'm feeling like October to December, every day is like, you just gotta chop an onion today until this uh, year ends. Um, it went, and it's weird because I used to think that like fall was the beginning of the year because it was the beginning of school. And when I say used to, I mean like in the 90s when I was a child. And now I look at October like, why try? Why try the year is done. Um, and I've been really struggling lately to stay productive, but I've been very productive. Like, I shot a whole ass commercial last weekend. Is this the last one? No, you want the last one? Yeah, give me one of the last ones. Tim, it looks like a commercial, bro. Oh, that's what this is. Oh, good. I think it's very cute. It went swimmingly, um, and it'll be done soon. And then I'm gonna shoot another one, and hopefully I'll get that done by the end of the year. But what I'm trying to say is, 
October to December is the onion chopping of the year. All I want to do is curl up and read a book, drink some fake wine, and watch all the Harry Potters while building Legos. But for some reason, uh, I gotta work. So let's chop this work onion. But that's the thing. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You don't have to want to do it to get it done. I'm doing my laundry. I don't want to. I want clean clothes. Smelling nice makes me less depressed. So I do it and I feel better. So for all you ladies and gents out there who are struggling through the onion of the year, put your goggles on and dice that mother up because you deserve to reap the benefits of your accomplishments. I believe in you. I don't need these anymore, but it felt like a good time to put them back on after saying that. I'm just gonna take them back off. But you get what I'm saying. Put your goggles on and chop it. Add garlic and half teaspoon salt. And cook, and cook, and cook, 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 cook. Stirring occasionally until tender, four to five minutes, add beef. And cook, and cook and cook, 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 cook. Breaking up with a wooden spoon until browned and cooked through four to five minutes more. Drain any excess fat. Oh, those of you asking, where do I get my trash bags? Because apparently I can just pour oil into them. Costco, girl, I get everything at Costco. It's also where I find my audacity in bulk. Okay, step two, which is actually like 15 steps. Stir in beans. Water. Cumin. I left out the chili powder because when I made the tacos, it was too hot for any of us to consume comfortably, so we're not doing chili powder. Oregano and remaining two teaspoons of salt. Bring to a boil over medium high heat. Reduce heat to medium low and simmer, stirring occasionally until slightly thickened and warmed through. That'll take about five minutes. Then you're gonna remove it from the heat, let it cool and stir in the cheese. The cheese, you guys, it's like I've recently rediscovered cheddar cheese. I'm having a cheddar cheese renaissance and it's beautiful. God, it's delicious. I feel like a cheddar cheese on just a cracker is kind of like a perfect snack. I'm just gonna have some of my cheddar cheese now. Oh my God. Is it okay if cheddar cheese makes me a happier person? All right, now that that's done, we're gonna arrange the racks in upper and lower thirds of the oven. Preheat the oven to 375. Line two baking sheets with parchment, okay? Step four, for the spider body, unroll two cans of crescent rolls and divide into triangles. Arrange triangles on one prepared sheet with all, wait, f two baking sheets. I threw one of my baking sheets away because I didn't want to wash it. Damn, pre-prepared facing out and the shortest sides of the triangles overlapping to form an empty six inch circle in the center. I don't know if any of this makes any to me. Aren't all I, uh, sides of a triangle points? So how can all the points face out if some of them are on opposite sides of each other? <sighs> and the shortest sides of the triangle overlapping to form an empty six inch circle in the center. God help me. So now we have to get the crescent rolls open. And if you know anything about me, you know that this is one of the hardest things of in my life is opening a crescent roll. Nothing scares me more than doing this. Ah! Oh my God, how do you do it? Press spoon at something until cap pops. Ah! Stressful. Oh, there we go. How the fuck? What, bro? What in the fuck? I 
I do think this is gonna be hella good though. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm taking a break. I'm having a hard day. I don't know what to do anymore, but if I'm gonna be fucking in here crying because I just eat in my own kitchen alone, I'm gonna fucking monetize it. So I'm just gonna take a break, and sometimes it's okay to just take a break. For the legs, separate remaining can of crescent rolls into triangles. Fold the tip of the triangle inward by one inch then roll triangles up from the longest side, creating a thin rod about seven inches long. Wow, I'm gonna struggle through that. Arrange on second prepared sheet in the shape of a wide V, then repeat with remaining crescent rolls. Struggling, struggling, that'll do pig. Bake spider body on lower rack until golden brown and cooked through 15 to 20 minutes. Bake spider legs on upper rack until golden brown, 10 to 12 minutes, let cool slightly. Because we're having a day, we just threw both those mother in at the same time. I set an alarm for 15 minutes. We'll check on them then. And then the final step is arrange the spider body on a platter, insert four legs on each side of the body between strips so they're standing upright. Fill center of body with lettuce, tomato, sour cream in stripes. Stick olives in sour cream for the eyes. Serve with more sour cream, lettuce, and tomato alongside if desired. So I'm gonna dice up my maters and I'm gonna slice up my lettuce and open my olives, probably eat a few of them, and get ready to finish the spider because if there's one thing about me is I'm not gonna have a baby fit tantrum and not finish my day. <laughs> Who else is embarrassed for me? Who's got secondhand embarrassment? All these things happening in the world and your girl's crying because she slips and falls in the kitchen off camera. <laughs> what a wild adventure. Shit. I just um, shredded the lettuce off camera, but here's the remnants. Here's the remnants. Icky's in a cone of shame because he has a little ear infection and he keeps scratching his ear and he keep him from itching it because he's got little boo-boos. I'm gonna give the body another five minutes. Oh, yes, son. Whoa. Is it perfect? No. Is anything or anyone perfect? Yes, probably Taylor Swift. Am I happy with it? Absolutely. I'm starving and having tantrums all over the place, so I'm gonna get some protein in me. 
and I'm gonna thank the universe for this beautiful best life that I live and for the opportunities that I have at my disposal and that I am a woman who can do big bold things and that I have very few things that I'm afraid of in this life that are rational fears and that I have so much love and unity around. So I'm gonna wrap myself in a big gratitude blanket and eat the fucking spider croissant soup. Pretty good, holds up nicely, so if you're making this for a party, it's pretty chill to cut into. Dipping it in some sour cream. That's good. I'm probably gonna add some salsa. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Mmm, hot. Your camera? I'm definitely on my camera because I wouldn't even know how to start yours. Hey guys, guess what? It's the same thing. What? No, it's not. They're different cameras. I mean, it's the Oh, same no, they're both Canons, I guess. Why is your battery different? I don't know. Were you just looking for attention? You just wanted to be different? <laughs> no, you literally turn them on and record them the same. They're just a little bit different. Oh, I'm not even rolling. Oh, wow. Nobody needed that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I made it all the way to Colorado and realized I didn't give you guys the Billy Doe taste test. So here's that. I give it a 7.1. And that's only because there wasn't enough flavor in the meat. Oh, but you did do it. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him to film it by himself at home and send it to me. What did you make? I made um, a spider taco roll. It's gonna be cold and disgusting by now. That was no, he's already ago. he tried it in real time. He tried it when I made so it. So now he's gonna taste it again and be like, okay, if I can remember back to three days ago when I tried it, but Lizzie didn't film this. This is how I felt. Yes. Okay. It's a memorable ass taco roll thing. Now that I'm in better spirits, I do have to say, I will be making that spider again on the 30th for my friend. Oh my God, no, I'm making it next weekend. <gasps> I have a party to go to okay, on the 21st. Say goodbye. Oh, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna make it again this week. I loved it so much. Um, my biggest hope and dream is that Bruce Adams, if you're watching this, you take it upon yourself to also make the spider taco roll. Because last year he made your Halloween thing. Exactly, you get it. I get it. Uh, anyway. I also want that, so it looks so good. <laughs> I only got a picture. I didn't get it made for me, but whatever. That's up to your dad. When did you make those broccoli cheddar nuggets? I made the broccoli cheddar nuggets last night. Oh, so that's not a vlog. No, that was just for me. Whoa, they were delicious. Drop the recipe. <laughs> or did you copy a recipe? I copied the recipe, but I changed it for myself. Oh, okay. I like, I spruced it up. She let them sit on the plane for three hours unrefrigerated and then warmed them up at my house and now we're gonna get food poisoning. I don't even think you're filming me. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the Brock Chetty fucking recipe. Anyways, do you know what you just did? What? You just signed your ass up to vlog the <laughs> Brock Chetty fucking nuggets later this evening. So tune in next week because this is making Brock Chetty nuggets with me. spooky stories. Yeah, they just changed. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. so. Crazy. At Crazy. least you've already done it and you know how to do it, so I'm, there won't be a lot of air. Right. The only... Do you have a blender? Come back next week. I'll see you next Tuesday. Goodbye. You're so beautiful, and I mean it. <laughs>